Okay, so I'm on my way to the Talat Nam Kwan Riem, which is about 20 minutes away from my house here. And I'm going to see what can I get. I got 309 baht in my pocket. I'm going to see what can I get for that money. First thing is the Song Tao, and it's coming right now. So I'm in the taxi and on Ram Kamang Road. Shouldn't be too long. Um, uh, what is it? Ram Kamang. I don't even know what it is, which street it is right now, but I'm on Ram Kamang. Uh, so I should be there in about 15 minutes, something like that. Well, I'm at the market now, Talat Nam Kwan Riam. And one thing I forgot. Today's Friday, and this market only really gets going on Saturday and Sunday, and right now there is nobody here. So I'm just hoping that I can find a place to eat. There's at least a little action going on, a few people working. And if not, well, I guess I'll go find somewhere else to photograph and do something else. So anyway, here's a look around uh, the deadness. There is some noise, so I don't know. Maybe there's some people getting ready to open up or something. I don't know, but I'm going to go walk across this bridge and take a look. Who knows how it died, but this is it. Here it is, right on the edge of the water. Now, I've been to this market before, and one of the first things that you see when you walk in are these little, I don't know what they're made of, but the little figurine things of, basically it's Thai life, uh, old Thai life, new Thai life, uh, and it's really, I, I find them pretty cool. The thing is, is this is on the second floor deep inside the market and there's nobody here somebody could just steal them really easily but I guess nobody does and I just since there's nothing else around I thought wow it's pretty cool <laughs> something worth looking at I took some photos of them and um, I've seen these a couple of times in Thailand one other place was at the Wat Thai Mit which is a temple in Chinatown, but you can see it's pretty detailed. Anyway, I gotta go get some food. I'm hungry and I haven't eaten anything for breakfast. All I had was uh, coconut water from inside of a coconut so I was hoping there'd be some food here but there's not so I gotta go find some somewhere so a good example of making something of nothing I'm walking along I'm getting ready to go out to the street to go get a taxi I see a little shop and the shop is open, they got food. I'm gonna have some uh, pets to you, some noodles with soy sauce. And on the way, as I was walking out, I saw an elderly lady uh, putting a plant into a pot. 
and she smiled. She had, I don't know how many teeth, but not all of them. She only had a couple, maybe four or five. And um, I started talking to her, and then I started photographing her. So a trip out here is not a complete loss. And, you know, I like doing stuff like this. I like wandering. I like being the, the stray dog that just goes wherever I want. And with a camera, the thing is, is that you can capture memories, which is what I really like. Just, you know, you can be rich in memories. You don't always have to have a huge amount of money. Obviously, money helps, but uh, having these memories and is is what it's all about. And especially for me, when I when I travel around, because I, I've been in some of these places. I've been to this market before, but I've been to some places like Cambodia, I've been there probably 50 times, so some of the photos, they mean quite a lot to me uh, because they bring back memories of what was going on at the time, what was going on in my life, what was going on right there in Cambodia or wherever it is at the moment. So uh, anyway, I'm getting ready, I'm waiting for my pet to you. As soon as it gets here, I'll eat it and then I'm going to walk out to the street and then i got to decide where I'm going to go. So. This is my pad CU. Looks good. So I can't wait to dive in. But I thought I'd give you a look. So now I'm in the Mall Bunkerby. I just took a taxi. Didn't have to walk all the way out to the road even, but uh, saw a taxi. I took a taxi to the Mall Bunkerby. They were just opening up, 10.30. And I'm going to get a double espresso, which is what I drink. And here it is. So, basically what I did was I took a song towel from my house. That was six baht. From there I took a taxi to the market. That was 90 baht, so that's 96. There was nothing going on at the market since they're only open on Saturday and Sunday. I took some photos, and then as I was walking down the street, I took some more photos, and I found a place to eat. So that was 45 baht, including a bottle of water. So that is 141 baht. I took a taxi. That was 90 baht more. So that's 231. And my double espresso is 70 baht, so that's 301 baht. And I have 8 baht left. Out of that, I'm going to take six baht. I'm going to walk across the street. I'm going to go to where the song cow is. That's six baht. And I'll have two baht left. So the total for my morning for breakfast, a coffee, and basically a trip to the market, even though it was closed, and to the mall, uh, 301, 307 baht. So it's not too bad. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm Scott. I'm an American in the Mall of Bangkok in Bangkok. Chokdi la Jokenmai.